Can you tile over tile? The short answer is yes, but stay and watch this whole video so I can tell you what you need to do in order to accomplish a successful installation. Hey, this is Oscar with OBF Tile and today we're discussing whether you can tile over tile or not. The answer is yes, but what do you have to do and why do people want to tile over tile? Removing tile is a pain in the butt. They don't want to go through the hassle and mess that causes removing tile. It also saves on labor or time if you're doing it yourself and it saves definitely money. Now, before you even consider tile over tile, the first thing you want to do is check your existing tile for any defects. Defects can include cracks, bumps on the floor, and if it's an exterior application, you want to check that the floor is not keeping water, there's no puddles anywhere, and there's no moisture being kept somewhere on the floor. Once you've done your research on the floor, you can determine whether you can do a tile over tile installation or if it's a total redo and you got to start from scratch. If you're doing a tile over tile installation on an outside patio, the first thing you want to make sure is there's no puddles of water after every time it rains or you wash it because you can build up the tile with thinset but the water is still going to collect on the bottom of the tiles causing mold issues in the future and mold issues is the least thing you want on a tile installation. You have to remember this your new installation is only going to be as good and long lasting as your previous tile installations. So if there's any risk of that current tile failing, it's going to fail in the future and any tile that you put on top of it, it's also going with it. So save yourself some money and time and hassle and just start from scratch if you have any doubts that you can tile over your existing floor. Before we go any farther, when I was doing the research for the video, I came across a website that suggested using mastic on dry areas and when I was reading it, if I wasn't a professional, I would have assumed that you can use it on dry floor areas. Never use mastic on floors, ever. It'll be such a waste of money and time and it's not going to stick, it's going to come loose in almost no time. And if you can, just avoid mastic altogether. The only application I would suggest using mastic would be a small backsplash that has no contact with water or grease that would be about it if you're doing tile anywhere where there's going to be moisture avoid mastic plus mastic is more expensive than thin set anyways so don't use mastic please things to consider before you start installation or before you even attempt to do a tile over tile installation your cabinet door kicks are going to be shorter. Your baseboard is going to be shorter when you're done so you may have to just do a whole new baseboard installation after the fact. Most of your doors are going to have to be cut because they're going to be too long by the time you're done adding another three quarters of an inch of tile and mud. Exterior thresholds if they're too low right now by the time you build up your floor you may have an issue there. So please remember all these at the end of your installation there's no turning back. So make sure you go through your list and you're okay with every single thing. But there are two products that are used as primers when you're going to tile over tile. One is made by Mape and it's called Eco Prime Grip. The other one is made by Laticrete and it's called Prime and Bond. They both require you to use a 3 8 of an inch nap roller and do a thin layer all over the tile. And they both are going to dry within 15 to 16 minutes from the application until they're completely dry so you can keep going depending on the conditions and humidity of the place. Before you apply these primers, you gotta make sure your floor is clean, free of dust, free of contaminants, free of grease, and free of any sealers. Otherwise, that's gonna be a bond breaker for the primer and tile, causing the tile installation to fail. So please make sure you go through all this and prep your floor before you apply the primer and then do any leveling that you're going to do to your floor after the primer, then installation. If you don't do it in this order, you're putting yourself at risk of failure. So cleaning, primer, leveling, tiling. Okay, as a recap, you can tile over tile, yes, but there's a bunch of steps and things to consider before you attempt an installation like this. So I wish you the best of luck if you're going to do it. And also consider there are companies nowadays that can demo your tile dust free. I'm pretty sure around your area there's a company that can do it. Give them a call and they can come in and get it done quick. You're going to have to spend some money, 
but going directly to the substrate is going to be the best bet every single time. Please remember to follow me on TikTok and Instagram as OBF Tile. Subscribe to this channel and hit that notification button if you want more videos like this coming your way. I'll see you in the next one.